Holy shit, do I have a lot for you guys today. So the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer reveal happened just a couple hours ago. I just got home and I have some time to work on all of it for you guys right now. I wanted to get this, well, first off, there's so many things going on, like tons of videos, tons of articles. I can't, I can't do it all by myself, so, but I wanted to get this video out here. I'm going to get the video done and upload it to our YouTube. Then I'm going to start working on the thread and get that updated as well. But um, in this video, there's going to be tons of Modern Warfare 3 things hopefully you haven't seen yet. Uh, multiplayer things, new game modes, the loadouts for each gun. Just make sure you watch the whole thing and tell me what you guys think. I'm going to commentate it as I go along. We're going to go through lots of videos, and let's get started. To start off the clip, we have our all of our assault rifles right here. we got the M4A1, the M16, SCAR, and the CM901, which is a new gun we haven't seen. Uh, right here we have the M16 loadout. And it's a three-round burst. Uh, you kind of got its stats down there going. We also have some perks. Slide of Hand Pro. That's making a return. Hardline. Um, uh, it's a little bit different. Every two assists counts as a kill towards your kill streak. Death streaks as well, I guess. Stalker Pro. Delay um, enemy Claymore Explosions. And then we have Simtex. And looks like we have the Saw again for a secondary. So it looks like they're bringing um, Grenade Launchers back for a secondary, which I'm not sure... If that was a lot of things people wanted to see. Also here in the assault rifles, we have the Type 95 36 G, 30, G66C, which reminds me that was in Call of Duty 4. Uh, ACR, of course, making a return. MK14, heard of that one. AK47 and the FAD. AK-47, of course, is going to be in every Call of Duty for the rest of the Call of Duty franchise for some reason. All right, moving on. Okay, uh, here we have Profici Proficiency... Proficiency. Um, looks like it's kind of like a gun perk. Uh, kick. Uh, kick looks like probably um, recoil wise. And impact is uh, like deep impact. Attachments, focus, breath, stability. I'm just going to run through these real quick with the video and see what it says. Okay, so attachment. This, uh, this one's two attachments, so that's bling. Focus, reduce flinch when hit. Breath, hold breath while aiming down the sights. And stability, reduce weapon sway while aiming down the sight. So that's interesting. And uh, so those look like gun perks. Uh, haven't seen those before. That's a new addition. Okay, uh, now we have uh, assault rifles, submachine guns, light machine guns, snipers, shotguns, and riot shields. So no more secondary shotguns. That's what that tells me right there. Shotguns, can't have them as secondary. Great, great addition if you ask me. And then, of course, we're ending with the riot shield. Okay, submachine guns, MP5K, wow, original. This looks exactly the same, same perks too, same guns, ex yeah. Looks like this, on the right side, it's a different class. I mean, they're creating a new class, but they got an older one on the right side. UMP and the PP90M1. Uh, no more currency in multiplayer, I like that. It's just straight up unlocks. So now light machine guns, the L896, the MG36, and the PKP Pichnegij. Same thing. Um, got Oh, and there, more Call of Duty 4. That gun it was in Call of Duty 4. Sniper rifles. Okay, this is the interesting part. The Barrett is making a return. The L... That, that was in Black Ops, wasn't it? Yes, that was in Black Ops. So it looks like that's making a return. Dragunov. The AS50 and the RSA6. So now we're back out to our primaries, and now the shotguns. Uh, the USS12, KSG12, SPAS12, and AA12. Lots of 12s. Um, looks like, uh, hopefully, they're not overpowered this game. Seriously, there's always a problem with shotguns in Modern Warfare 2. Hopefully, that's not back. Models, of course, returning. I don't see any new shotguns. Okay, so here we have a uh, custom class full loadout, our primary, secondary, lethal, tactical, perk 1, perk 2, perk 3, strike package, death streak, copy, rename, reset. What is this? Strike passive. Go down to... Oh, okay, okay. This is kill confirmed. It's a new gang type that forces players to solidify their kill count by collecting the floating dog tags left behind by dead bodies. Teams don't collect a point for the kill until they nab the dog tags, so it's imperative 
to rush dead bodies and make sure they net the score. Alternatively, floating dog tags can be used as bait. Leave out the collectible and some poor soul is more than likely going to attempt to grab it. Let them join their friends. The additional twist on this game mode is that the fact that both teams can, can grab the dog tags that are fallen. If the dead player's team gets the dog tags first, the kill is denied, leaving the offenders po pointless. From a few rounds of this game type on the map village, it's a hectic death. It's a hectic dash to the collective dog tags and attempt to settle the score. At the end of the match, the posted score is reflected as much lower amount than standard deathmatch types. It's a nice twist on a common formula. Enemy Kill confirmed. UAV online. Kill confirmed. And to finish off the clip, um, I have a little uh, gameplay of Spec Ops here. We're on the Paris level, uh, you and a buddy, and this is survival mode. Um, so that's it for part one of today. I'm going to be doing two parts today. I'll be making another video in a couple of hours, so make sure to stay tuned. And give me a like, give me a thumbs up, support Seven Sins. I'm out, guys. See you next clip. Approaching your position. Sentry gun ready. Thermal scans show attack dogs in your area. Sentry activated. Change your move! 